If you ever need to extract the audio from a video file to work with it here, of course, in Studio One, it's pretty straightforward. I'll just navigate to my video file that I need to pull in. It's right here, and I just need the audio from this. So just pull it in, and here is the video. It's actually a tutorial. I do this a lot for the videos I make here on, uh, on YouTube. I uh, work with the audio here in Studio One, get it up to a par, and then put that into my video editor. And all you're looking for is this button right here that says Extract Audio. All I have to do is click that, say yes, and it will extract the audio from the video. And again, I do this a lot, especially when using OBS, which I'm using right now, to record the screen. And there we go. There is the audio file from this video. I don't even need the video, so I'll just go ahead and close it. There is our audio track. Now, one thing you should know is that currently, anyway, in version 4.5 of Studio One, we can only extract one audio track. Now, that video technically has three audio tracks. So we can't do that yet in Studio One. For those other audio files, you'll have to get those uh, in your video editor, all right? But now that I have my audio file in here, I can go ahead and use my effects chains that we've shown in a different video, because this here is a vocal track, just like a voiceover for a video. I just throw my isotope SMB chain right on this track from my video file. Boom, there we go. My three different inserts, my three different plugins that I have, all set up, ready to go. I can then, of course, pull my clip gain up a bit here, and I can go ahead and render this file out because I know it's going to sound pretty good with these settings right here. And my audio for that video is done.